Pogba is an end on we've heard a lot in the last several years. And it's been a massive question of what do you need to do to get him to play football well consistently? Main thing is consistently. Without a shadow of a doubt, Paul Pogba is one of the most talented midfielders in the world. Debated one of the most talented players in the world. That's why it's incredible to see how after so many years, how many attempts it's took, that it still never ever really works at Manchester United. Paul Pogba openly admitting that he sees playing with the French national team as almost like a stress reliever compared to his day-to-day -day life at Manchester United. I'm not gonna lie, you can't really blame it. Yo, do you play FIFA 22? Yeah. Is your team bang average? You absolute pathetic piece of- You saying that to the viewers? No, obviously. Ah, okay. I mean you. Do you face teams like this? You can't keep getting away with it! Do you know there's a way to get coins? Why are you shouting at me? <laughs> then go to usabuy.com for the cheapest and most reliable place to buy your coins on FIFA 22. Link is down below in the description. And also use code VISA at checkout to get a discount. No matter where Pogba goes, it seems to always follow scrutiny. Unless it's at Juventus. And then everyone loves him. How can you unlock Paul Pogba? Who is the player to unlock Paul Pogba? Probably a number six which they haven't still replaced since f***ing Michael Carrick. There's Matic, I guess, but the guy's like 80. The man's played CDM, centre mid, as a 10, as a left winger, actually, that him playing left wing at one stage seemed to be his best role, but I think that's because he just had to be playing because it's Paul Pogba. This is the craziest thing about Paul Pogba, is that when you actually look at, like, the stats, if you're a stat kind of guy, which I don't think you should base this all on stats, but if you even want to do that, He's still not been disastrous. Even this year, which everyone laughs as being like a, a pathetic season, the guy still got in 16 starts in Premier League, one goal and nine assists. However, this is the issue. How many of those assists was in the first game? Four assists in one game, and then there's the rest of the season right there. Um, a goal against Burnley. Cheers, lad. His only goal for the entire season is against Burnley. Of course it is, lad. And the crazy thing is that in that game against Leeds, he plays a left winger. Pogba is a left winger. I mean, they were still playing Dan James, for God's sake. That's why, as across the season, nine assists, one goal. Okay, more assists was in, like, two games, but still. And then after that, next year, 21 starts. Three goals for your assists. 21 starts and 16 starts for two seasons for a player that costs 89 million is probably not that good. Year before that, 34 starts, much better. 13 goals, 9 assists. That was the by far the best Paul Pogba. He still had that, but yet seemed to have so many questions still. Year before that, 6 goals, 10 assists. Year before that, 5 goals, 4 assists. For a centre mid slash number 10, whatever he played in, he still performed to a decent level. So why does it still feel like Pogba hasn't performed? And it's this massive expectation that everyone puts on to him. Because Man United are in such an absolute disastrous state right now, across all parts of the field, on the pitch and off the pitch, that it feels like the pressure has to go to some players. And before Ronaldo came in, it was largely the Paul Pogba show, with a dash of Bruno Fernandes as well. This season as a left winger, a 7.46 rating, midfielder, a 7.21, as a CDM, a 6.96. What also won't help is the way that it ended, and that is the game against Liverpool. With an injury that no one really saw, no one really can tell what really happened, but he went off anyway, just straight away, just walked off the pitch. That final image of Pogba walking off the pitch at Anfield will most likely be seen as the entirety of Paul Pogba's Man United career of how it ended and that is for me a great shame because when I look at purely how he's played and how he's performed he's not been that disastrous but yet it still feels like it which I feel like is a great shame because he is a fantastic footballer however for him and Man United it probably makes sense for it just to end because really it was never going to work out because of the amount of off field events that happened with his agent, with the media gathering around him, with his personality off the pitch as well that get that garners unneeded attention. The fact of the matter is Paul Pogba will always split hairs on people's opinions because with Pogba people will question the fact that the analogy that I hear is that you can't realistically buy a Bentley and then drive it up a mountain off road and expect it to perform well. But 
Pogba isn't playing with absolute bums. Yes, Fred and McTominay may not be exactly on his level, but Ronaldo this season, he's had a few which could be, you know, maybe on the edge of being not the best, like a, a Dan James, for example. But realistically, he's not playing with, you know, League One players, you know what I mean? But yet, it still feels like he's still not been given the team at the same it's really interesting the the kind of curious case of Paul Pogba because no one can really pinpoint the problem and I think because of the expectation the price tag the the Pogba the media hype it feels like he's still not done what he's been hoped to do yes he's brought a, a league cup a europa league he's brought in some trophies but it's hard to look at the last few years of man united and not feel like it's been an absolute mess and he's been in center of all of that is that harsh in him most likely give me your thoughts down below i just felt like just talking about it because in my, if i'm how i see it with paul pogba i kind of feel like he has been disrespected by the fan base because when you actually look at the pure stats of the game that he hasn't formed that awful however in terms of expectation that people expect of Paul Pogba they expect the guy to be scoring a goal and assist every single game that isn't really possible for the majority of midfielders in the world you're not going to have that happen especially for a midfielder not a striker not a Messi you know not everyone can be Messi I feel like everyone always compares players to Messi but Messi is unbelievable unbelievable you can't compare everyone to the stats of Messi for example should Pogba take responsibility Ability? Yes, he should. But I also feel like all parties have a part to blame here. Tell me your thoughts down below. It'll be interesting to see your guys' opinion because I feel like they could, it could go a lot of different ways here. But yeah, it is a great shame because I've always said that he is, he should be the best midfielder in the world. He's got all the qualities, the passing range, the, just the pure flair and talent, that kind of you know Zidane-esque creativity that can only happen when you go and watch him like you know you don't know what may happen next and then there's the physicality and the pace which he has just with his build which is incredible that it could be so light on his feet and get out of tricky situations the shooting ability as well he should have the entire package other than maybe tackling and defending i guess but that could be something that's learned over time he felt like he has all the qualities potential to be the perfect balance the perfect engine and it still never worked. It's a shame, man. If you guys do enjoy, smash the like button. And we are so close to 300,000 subscribers. So please feel free and drop a sub on the channel too. And I'll see you guys next time. By the way, I must say thank you all so much for the love on the channel in the last couple of weeks. It's been absolutely incredible. So if you guys can, if you haven't already, please go and subscribe. I just want to say, just make sure that you guys know that I appreciate you guys just even just being here. I know that I have got many ups and downs on this channel and hopefully this one makes it last. So thank you all so much. It really means a lot. And I'll see you guys next time.